Hey, what's up there, strong peeps? It's a new week and we're starting a new program. I told you guys last week that I would uh, let you know what program I'll be starting. So it's called GZCL. And um, if you guys want a bit more of a comprehensive breakdown about how to do a program or what it's about, I'll link some articles and some videos that will give a bit more in-depth, but I'll just give you guys a basic breakdown of the program that I'll be doing specifically. So I'll be doing one called GZCLP which is just a variation of GZCL from Cody Lefevre, the P standing for uh, linear progressive, so, or linear progression. It's a little bit more basic than I would say the standard GZCL, but it, um, it complements the kind of workouts that I'll be doing. And it's a bit more of, let's say a, a beginner program to get started with powerlifting. From then on, I might just change it up or go to the GZCL once I've uh, plateaued or I find that I'm not making the gains that I want to but anyway let's get into it so basically GZCL it's kind of similar to a, a 5-3-1 or 5 by 5 type program although the the way that the sets and the reps work is kind of unique in its approach uh, which I really like I obviously haven't tried it yet but just reading through all the the schemes and the sample programs this is kind of something that'll work for me so basically we'll be doing three different movements per day or three different exercises. Tier one, which will be your primary compound moves. Uh, tier two, which will be your supplementary or secondary supplementary. And then tier three, which will be more of an accessory type workout. So very similar to what other strength building programs do. Just the approach of the way it works and how you build yourself up. And I really like the way that um, how you can kind of monitor your progress in terms of when you start failing, what do you do then? A lot of these other programs, when you hit failure, do I go down in weight? Do I take a deload? How much do I go down in weight? Do I lower my sets? So with the GZCLP program, it kind of incorporates that in so that you have an idea of what you got to do once you start failing. There's a whole protocol for that. So yeah, let me break it down quickly for you. So we'll start with tier one. That'll be your... Um, compound primary mover. So what I'll be doing is I'll be alternating my upper and lower body exercises. So my primary will be, an, let's say, a lower body exercise and my secondary will be an upper body exercise. And then when I do my upper body compound movement, my secondary exercise will be a lower um, type movement. So I get to hit up and lower pretty much every day. However, only one of them will be a compound and the second one will be accessory. Which, uh, like I said from the previous weeks, I want to hit my, my bench and my squat specifically more than one time per week. So this program kind of allows me to do that. Anyway, onto the structure of the program. So basically, we'll be starting with a compound movement. For example, today I'll be doing squats. You'll be doing three sorry you'll be doing five sets of three repetitions now you'll be working with a training max just like all strength programs you'll be finding your one rep max and then generally taking about 85 percent of that so for example if you have a 100 kilogram squat or let's say a 100 kilogram training max you'll be doing five sets of three repetitions your last set of the day like with most strength programs will be an amrap this allows you to test yourself and push yourself a little bit harder, get a bit more repetitions in. So set number one, or so yeah, tier number one, compound movement, we do five sets of three repetitions. Every week we'll be adding five pounds for upper body movements and 10 pounds for lower body movements. Now, because I am starting the program, I, I will be just doing five pounds which in our units is about two kilograms or using the plates that I have available will be about two kilograms. You add that every single week. So tier two, which will be your secondary exercise. I'll be doing bench press because it's now an upper body with lower body. You do three sets of 10 repetitions. Now there's no AMRAPs. You only use about 55 to 85% of your training max and you stick to the rep and set scheme 
then your tier three exercise, which is your accessory work, pretty much stick, stays with lat pull downs or pull ups. Now you'll be doing three sets of at least 15 repetitions. Those weights for tier three only increase once you are able to do more than 25 repetitions. Now here comes the interesting part for the rep scheme change. Basically, you carry on with adding weight to your five sets of three repetitions until you fail. When you fail with any of your sets, let's say on, uh, let's say by week three or week four, you fail on your second or third or even your last set of the three repetitions, then from next week on, you will take that same weight that you failed on, but now you'll be doing six sets of two repetitions. So basically, you're kind of getting the same amount of volume in that you were the previous week, but you're now using less repetitions. So theoretically, you shouldn't be able to, or you shouldn't fail using that same weight that you did the previous week. So now you'll be doing set six, sets, now you'll be doing six sets of two repetitions. Also, with the same weight and every week you'll be increasing the weight. Now again, once you fail with that, with that weight, let's say on week four of doing six by two, you fail on your second or third or whatever set it is, you will then come back next week and use that same weight for 10 sets of one repetition. So pretty much just doing 10 sets of singles. Once again, it's pretty much the same volume as you have been doing the previous weeks. It's just less repetitions. You carry on once again, adding weight every single week to that rep scheme until you fail. Once you fail with that, you will take pretty much a rest, a, a deload, let's say one or two days, and then you will retest your five repetition max. And then using that five rep max weight, you'll take that, you'll take a training percentage of that weight and start the program from beginning again, which means six sets of three repetitions. So let me just summarize for you, six sets of three repetitions, you carry on adding weight every single week until you fail. Once you fail, you use that same weight that you failed on, the next week you will do six sets of two repetitions and carry on adding weight until you fail. Then the week after that, you'll be doing 10 sets of one repetition, carry on adding weight until you fail, and then you reset the program. Sounds pretty basic enough. Now for your accessory work, which will be your tier two. So for example, for me, this today will be a bench press. You will start with, let's say 55% of your training max for 10 repetitions. Every week, you will still add five pounds to that weight until you fail and in which case you will now be doing eight repetitions, still the same amount of sets, which will be three. Carry on adding weight until you fail and then you go down to six repetitions. So that's a little bit easier. Once you fail with that, you retest your max again and start again the, pre the, the next week with your 10 repetitions for three sets. Now onto your tier three, which was basically just your accessory work. You will do start with a lighter weight and carry on building on that same rep scheme until you can hit 25 reps on your AMRAP. Once you're able to do 25 reps, then you can add the weight. There's no real, real rep scheme for failure on that because it's accessory work, it shouldn't be too heavy. You should still be progressing in your reps and not in your weight. So yeah, that's pretty much how the program works. I really like the, the way it does all the thinking for you. Uh, there's no real, with 531, you're not quite sure when to add weight. Um, you got to kind of rely on formulas at the end of the week or take a bit of a guess at the end of your four weeks or then take a deload. So I really like the fact that this GCCLP, the P version, um, keeps on linearly progressing or linearly progressing. So every week you just keep on adding weight until you fail. And once you fail, there's an entire protocol for what you do then. So it kind of just takes a guesswork out about do I dress, do I take off weight, how much weight. So yeah, I hope that um, breaks it down enough for you in a simple form. Like I said, there'll be links in the description if you guys wanna read um, up on 
how the program works or there's a video explaining exactly how to do it. Like I said, there are different variations of it, but I'm going to stick to the basic linear progression, which means also I don't train the same muscle groups for my accessories. The more advanced programs you would do, let's say uh, a squat for your compound and a front squat for your accessory or deadlifts for your compound and stiff leg deadlifts for your accessory. I quite like that I can do a full body pretty much every day, just using different rep schemes and using different weights. That kind of just suits the way I like to train. Um, to, just to give you guys an idea of what my specific program looks like, um, I'll be doing today, for, in, for example, I'll be doing squats for my tier one compound movement. My secondary movement will be a bench press, tier two, and tier three, which is just accessory work, will be a lat pull down. Then on to day two, I will be doing overhead press for my compound or tier one. I'll be doing a deadlift for my supplementary tier two, and then I will be doing a bent over row for my accessory work. Basically, my accessory work is just alternating between a vertical pull and a horizontal pull. Then on to day three will be bench press for tier one, my compound movement. And then I will be doing squats for accessory or my supplementary tier two work. And then back to a vertical lap pull down for accessories. Then to day four will be deadlifts for tier one compound movement. And then uh, overhead press for my supplementary tier two movement. And then bent over rows again for accessory work t t tier three which will be a horizontal pull. I've um, specifically chosen a four day um, structure just so that if I do feel I wanna do a little bit of extra in the week, I can do, let's say, a shoulder day or some bicep curls or tricep extensions on a, just a slightly lighter weight. That's why I haven't really added extra accessories to each of my days that I'm training so that I can play it by ear. Maybe one week I'm a little bit more fatigued and exhausted. I don't want to have to force myself through more accessories and I can just take a, a rest. But let's say one week I do feel in the middle of the week, let's say a Wednesday, which is a rest day, a rest day for my powerlifting movements. I feel, I've, feel like training. I feel like I've got some energy. Let's go and do a shoulder and arm session. However, this will be at a much lower weight percentage than what let's say accessories in the program will be. It'll just be some fun exercises. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this will be a separate video from my, my usual training log just so that you guys can get a bit of an understanding. I don't wanna take too much of your time in my training log. Let's keep that specifically in the gym for the weightlifting. So yeah, let's go start with week number one, which is squats T1, uh, bench press T2, and vertical lat pull downs for T3. I'll see you guys in the gym. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and keep on one-upping yourselves. Boom, boom.